to News 8. I'm Anne Marie Heiliger. Here's what's happening in our top story tonight. Federal and law enforcers are continuing their sweeps in our territory. We caught up with them as they were transporting suspects earlier today. News Channel 8's West Small files this exclusive report. Well, right now we're at Sunny Isle, and as you can see in back of me, we do have uh, DEA and Customs members from Homeland Security in back of me. As you can see, they're very heavily armed with M16s, AK-47s. I tried to get some information, but they are very tight-lipped. As a matter of fact, they instructed me to keep at a distance, move our News Channel 8 vehicle out of the way. Apparently, some suspects, some prisoners are gonna be coming out of the back of Homeland Security. We cannot show you um, those faces. As a matter of fact, we cannot even um, be shooting if the suspects are coming out. We just arrived on the scene. We're pretty much in the dark as you are. Uh, keep in mind, most of this federal information is coming out of Puerto Rico. And we also know that during the last two weeks, several neighborhoods have been inundated by uh, federal officers, both in the sky and on the ground. Joint efforts from the VIPD, also Coast Guard, FBI, DEA, uh, customs, everybody involved in these things uh, right now. Uh, a lot of um, um, excavating of marijuana plants has been has been going on. Areas like Cal Cajon, um, Cyan Farm area, um, Strawberry. Almost every neighborhood in St. Croix, you've seen these choppers over your house. Like I said, we don't know what suspects are coming out. Um, we don't know what witnesses may be coming out from what crime case. Any information that comes from the federal government does come out of Puerto Rico, but a member of this special elite unit did tell me, hey, I know you need some stuff for journalistic reasons. Keep at a distance. In this area, no vehicles are being allowed in this perimeter at all. You could see that these men and women are very heavily armed. Question. Are the feds here on St. Croix? Answer, yes, they are. Here in Sunny Isle, I'm Wes Small for News Channel.